هذا هو اليوم الذي صنعه الرب فلنفرح ولنتهلل به المسيح قام من بين الأموات ووطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور المسيح قام من بين الأموات ووطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور Christos on esti epne kron thanaton, thanaton batisas, keti sentith ni masi zoif karis amenos. Well, good morning, everybody. Yep. Well, although it's May, it is cold enough outside and in here, because I've turned the heating off, that it does cause my nose to run. And that being said, uh, you'll have to excuse me if I need to wipe my, wipe, wipe my nose in between <laughs> as we're having our discussion. Uh, anyways, the timer started. It is now 16 hours and 50 minutes, 16 hours and 50 minutes into the day of Thursday, May 1st, 2014. Yay. Uh, it's a whole new month. Well, it's coming near the end of the week and the new uh, Cyborg Alpha Mu is coming together. The new upgrade to that is coming together very well. Uh, I'm happy for that. That means I've, I've leveled up. I'm, uh, this upgrade means I'm leveling up again. Uh, <laughs> I just, it's a, I did, it had just finished doing the first configuration uh, in uh, December, January. And here we are, not even three, four months later, uh, uh, and I'm upgrading again. So that's, you know, that, that's that's a sign now that looks like that uh, I have an upgrade cycle of just about uh, every three to four months I'm upgrading. And that means I'm leveling up uh, in terms of a major way. And that's actually, that's actually pretty good. So I'm happy with that. Uh, I'm happy with the progress. Uh, that's uh, with the, that that's coming along. It adds in the the upgrades add in new capacities. That's a, that, that's what an upgrade does. A, an upgrade does add in new capacities. Uh, you've sort of gotten to the point where you realize that uh, you have to make some more room. You started run, you're starting to run into in, into into space problems. Uh, when uh, you know when you have to upgrade, you start realizing that uh, what you what you what you're trying to do on the platform is too big, and now you have to sort of spread it out a little bit further, and and that that gives you your next uh, direction for the upgrade. The other factor in uh, upgrades has to do with price, uh, and I wasn't. And this is where I think I wasn't planning to upgrade just yet. I was planning to upgrade maybe sometime in September, October, but they had this this, this uh, device I got, the new Cyborg Alpha Me device that I got, the new tablet I got. They had it on sale for eighty dollars, and so hey, you know what, eighty bucks that's that's a good deal. So uh, it was uh, again as I talked about in my uh, in the, in the um, the shopping and uh, philosophy vlog, uh, vlog uh, segment. Uh, I said that, uh, you know, one of the ways you do your freaking work is that, yeah, you go to discount stores, but if you wait a little bit at discount stores, you watch the prices of the discount stores, when they get a hot item in, or, or item that's pretty good, watch it. Don't buy it right away when they first bring it out and say, ah, here it is. Here's your discount price. Because there will be a time later on, if you're patient and watch, that they will drop the price even further. I mean, you can even get it at 50 of the the discount price is already fifty percent off, but you can get a further fifty percent off or, or close to it, right? A fifty percent off of, of the so take 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 the discount price, discount that uh, take that discount price is that price is discounted fifty percent from its original price. Take the discount price half it, and that's your that's your new price. That's what, that's what you get it for. So in that's the case here. I got a very good tablet for about uh, eighty dollars. Happy with that. It does a lot more. Fu it's a lot more fun functional than um, than the tablet I had. So the tablets that I have aren't going to be junk. They're not going to be thrown out. As I said, you don't throw things out. You repurpose them. 
So what this gives, allows me to do now is this allows me, because I now have four tablets, uh, I have two tablets that will work for Cyborg Alpha Mu, and two tablets now that form the uh, IDE bench, uh, and IDE stands, in, stands for Integrated Developer Environment, uh, and that means where you're, you're developing programs on these uh, uh, tablets. I have two tablets for that, and that's an alpha and a beta. Alpha is your initial code, that's your, the code that you're just sort of starting to put together. And the beta codes are the, the codes that have successfully passed the alpha stage and are now working at, at a pretty good thing, but still have some bugs in them. That's the beta testing. So I now have an alpha and a beta test platform on Android. So uh, yay for that. Uh, and that means I'm going to be moving ahead with that along with uh, the product that I'm doing on FFmpeg. And interestingly, interestingly enough, FFmpeg crosses platforms. And because Linux, Android is Linux, and it is based off the of Linux thing. Uh, a lot of uh, video projects, a lot of uh, uh, video players like um, MX Player Pro. If you, if you have a, a video player on your uh, on your Android uh, phone or tablet, or even your TV, uh, you more than likely have FFmpeg in there. And there was this massive split in this community in the community just uh, not even a few months ago. That's really uh, well. Uh, the, the sort of the, co the 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 overall results really hit the fan a couple months ago, uh, just around uh, the uh, January February timeline. Uh, the, the split was final uh, in the community between FFmpeg. It was split off into another group called uh, L I L I B A V. That group has gone with Ubuntu, and that's where this whole thing. I'm um, starting to do work on the FFmpeg project. Ubuntu is starting to, bring, starting to violate a lot of the open source ideals. And so I'm moving into FFmpeg to bring FFmpeg back to Ubuntu and sort of try to open up you open up the options in Ubuntu once again so that uh, Ubuntu is a full uh, and open operating system rather than something being that's, something that's being closed. Uh, so it's, it is an interesting challenge, and I think it's, th th this is where... Uh, this whole upgrade comes into play here. It allows me to do FFmpeg development on both on Android and Linux at the same time. Uh, so now it's, it's, it, things are starting to fall into place more. Uh, it does have, I do have a better stance than I did before uh, on Monday. So things uh, ended up working out very well. The only thing that has to happen now is I have to work the Greek back into the schedule again. When I get a lot of products in a row that sort of has to do this configuration work, uh, I do end up sometimes dropping some of the uh, products that I'm working on. Not intentionally, but in unintentionally. There just isn't enough time to get everything done during the day. And the result is that some of the products get dropped, that I do, that some of the daily schedule gets dropped. And I have to make a conscious effort to go back in and revamp the schedule so that everything, including the new stuff, uh, is uh, back on schedule, back in the schedule again. And that includes the work on Ubuntu BSD Music Town and uh, Beauty and the Geek, which should be filming this week. And as a matter of fact, the Thursday, today and tomorrow, Thursday and Friday, uh, I should be finishing up uh, both a, uh, an episode of Ubuntu BSD Unix Town and uh, Beauty and the Geek. So <laughs> that's a cool thing to me anyway. So uh, our time is now up. And I will see you... Uh, Maybe later on today. I don't know what, ha what will happen. We'll see. Anyways, have a good one. Bye-bye. Well, good morning, everybody. Yeah. Time for another BTS vlog. And as I said before, it's not necessarily morning. It's just this is the time, I'm, time of day I'm starting at. So let's get the timer started. And this now gives you the time and date stamp. It is now 17 hours and 53 minutes. No, 17 hours and 33 minutes into the day of Friday, May 2nd, 2014. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's Friday. There is a lot of work on schedule for today. Let's see how much I can get done. Uh, I have a lot of leftover work for configuration to be done. Uh, configuring comes in two parts. There is base configuration. Well, actually, there's more than one part. There's, there's more than two parts uh, to this. It's it, 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 There's two fundamental parts. 
there is a base configuration just to get the thing working, get the thing back working in its place. And then uh, once you've got the base configuration done and you put it back and it's now starting to work, you now have an extended configuration that needs to be done to start tweaking and sort of trying to get pull pull the device towards its maximum, get its maximum use, the maximum use out of it. And that's something that continues on uh, until you basically, uh, in, particularly in the first two weeks anyway, it takes about two weeks to really get things properly organized so that they are working out all right. Uh, let me just adjust this camera here for a bit. There we go. Camera was a little off, little off center. It was a little off, so I had to do that adjustment there. Sorry about that. Uh, as I said, we're live. We're not really live. It's unedited, uncut, uncensored, so you see all the mistakes and so on and so forth. Anyways, back to configuration. Uh, the base configuration simply gets working. And you have enough of the applications on the device that you need to so you can start working with it. And that's sort of what the way, the way Cy, the, the Cyborg Alpha Mu follows the same Cyborg Alpha Mu follows the same uh, configuration pattern. Uh, the base, the new Cyborg Alpha Mu that came in, that's going to be the office uh, connected. There's two now two tablets for the office uh, because the workload does need to be split. Uh, because this tablet is the better of the two tablets that are going to be for the office. A large chunk of the main files are going to be on the new tablet. So, and that's going to handle most of the functions of the office. And uh, the second one will be for uh, backup and for other, you know, in other words, split the, the some ways, in some ways, to split the, the, the load balance. To split the load. <laughs> Uh, and then uh, the the extended uh, the extended uh, uh, configuration that has to go on is uh, taking the two older tablets. These are the five hundred twelve megabyte tablets, and repurposing them towards a IDE uh, bench. In other words, uh, I was talking was talking before about uh, doing Android development. Android development requires an Android IDE as an integrated developer environment. Uh, so these two older uh, Androids will become the Android IDE bench. There'll be an alpha and a beta. Uh, alpha is your, per, your, your your beginning code that's where you make a lot of mistakes, and so it needs to be a uh, device that is expendable. That if something really goes wrong, that you know, you know, it's okay. Uh, then you have a beta. The beta is where you once you get your code working to a somewhat reliable degree, you move your stuff over to beta, and then you go from beta into uh, basically what's called production mode, where you you can now push your uh, product out to the public. Uh, now I don't necessarily I don't necessarily do that. Uh, I have a three stage uh, a three stage test project uh, process. Uh, I have an alpha, beta, and a gamma. Uh, the reason for that is I find a lot of products that are pushed out uh, from beta once they've completed beta still aren't ready enough for the public. There's still a lot of bugs in them. They really need to be worked out. So from a user standpoint, uh, I always prefer having a gamma, and that's kind of what I do with uh, with Ubuntu as well. Uh, I always view the uh, the latest release, the latest update to be the uh, to be the del to be the um, the beta uh, and it's still not good enough yet to be full production, so I treat it as if it was a gamma. So basically with Ubuntu uh, the reason why I update, and I'm actually updating a year behind, almost. Uh, it just gives you more stability. It gives you uh, more stability on the uh, on the uh, with the operating system. Uh, if you give it uh, a six months for, or three or four, at least six months for the bugs to be worked out, 
then you, you're all right. If you install an operating system uh, right as it comes out, there's still a lot of bugs and there's still a lot of unknowns and you really are taking a risk, particularly if you're in, in, in a production environment, uh, that there's going to be some significant failure. Uh, and so my, my from my experience is if I wait about... Uh, I give it not a, not a, I don't have to wait a full twelve months. If I give it nine months, just a little past the six month mark, uh, th that's enough to uh, say okay, the bugs have been worked out. I can I can sort of track where the problems are. I can look at the, bu the sort of the bug reports. The, the, the bug reports are the uh, these and these bug and they have these bug trackers with them. They tell you what's wrong with the system. They, they, you can sort of see. Uh, what problems people have been having, and you can sort of track that over a period of time. And as you start seeing the problems get less and less and less, and you see less severe problems, uh, that's when you know at the, at the, at the point where you're not seeing that many serious problems, that's the point where you start installing into a production environment. In other words, you have to wait until the, you know, the first horde, of, the, the, for, the first trials have gone through, you wait for all of the serious bugs to be worked out, and that takes about nine months, well, between six and nine months, and that's when you install into a production environment, because now most of the bugs have been worked out, most of the things have been worked out, and the remaining problems uh, should be relatively minor. And that's kind of what I, what I do here uh, with uh, Ubuntu. And uh, I'm going to follow the same practice when I do Android development, and my development as well, even for, for Linux, uh, I'm going to add a gamma, and the gamma adds that sort of extra time out to allow for the more critical problems when the, pro when the, when the app is first released to be worked out so that you, when you're really releasing to the public as a full product, you're, they're getting a good top-notch product. Most of the bugs have been worked out so that any problems that do exist are minor. They can be worked around uh, relatively easily, and there's no real particular issue. So, anyways, uh, our time is up. I said I got a lot of work to do today. There's a sort of enormous amount. We end up because it's the end of the week, and this is where I try to pull all the odds, odds and ends together. And once that's done, uh, well, we'll see how we get get to at the end of the day. There might actually be some test shots today. Uh, I do have filming scheduled. So, anyways, bye. I will see you. Uh, either, yeah, probably tomorrow morning. Alright, bye. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, it's time for the uh, BTS vlog. I should say another segment of the BTS vlog. Let me get my breathing right. It is uh, 20 hours and 41 minutes. 42 minutes into the day of Saturday, May 3rd, 2014. Yeah, our, 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 our mornings, the time we start is getting later and later, so um, the, the time I'm sleeping, when I'm sleeping, is definitely shifting, as I said before. I'm now up at night and awake during the day. We'll see what happens this week because I now have to... Uh, put in a longer day tonight and tomorrow that usually causes things to shift you know your Saturday things if things go if things go the way they expect I expect them to go between tonight and Monday uh, there will be a period where there will be a, a somewhat of an all-nighter and that will cause things to shift again and that's what it usually causes is, is when I have to pull an all-nighter when something happens where I, uh, my sleep is broken up and I need to get new a uh, new router, so because the old one is starting to crap out on me, uh, there's just too much uh, too much data going through it, and it can't handle the load, so it's starting to fizzle out, and that means I get a new I have to get a new one. That means I have to wait for a shipment on Monday, and that's going to start breaking up my sleep because as you wait for a shipment, uh, you can't sleep until the shipment uh, shipment arrives. So. <laughs> And then you have, there will be another, uh, a couple days worth of configuration to sort of work it into the network. So, we won't be fully back on schedule again. 
until uh, next till next Friday. So uh, that's uh, that's kind of how things go. You do have to sort of work things out and you know see how these things work into your schedule. Uh, in addition, there's also in addition to the unintended interrupts and these these things that you have to deal with, you also have uh, distractions, things that sort of pull you away from things. And this, oh, again, work. I ended up getting distracted on my IPTV last night trying to see what more content I can get on it. And that sort of killed off of a lot of time. Then I also have noisy next door neighbors. Uh, that, sh pull, uh, that caused me to put off uh, some of my shooting schedule. Uh, <laughs> it's, it, you know, it's, it's, th there are things that sort of, uh, on a, uh, on a daily, on a weekly basis that sort of come in and say, okay, the daily schedule is not going to be the daily schedule anymore. It's not going to be the entire weekend schedule. You're going to have to spread the workout that you intended to do for that particular day. You have to spread it out over the entire weekend because the day you chose to say, okay, I'm going to do all this amount of work, well... Things have come in, things have popped up, and instead of being able to do all that work on that one day, you now have to spread it out over uh, a couple of days, particularly the weekend. So, uh, that's kind of where we are right now. Uh, as for the FFmpeg project, that's kind of uh, a little slow. I got to do some more work on it tonight. I've, there, there's definitely more work that has, has to be done tonight. Uh, we'll see what I can get done on the FFmpeg, pro FFmpeg project. I am working on the kitchen diner. The kitchen diner is almost in uh, film ready state. One of the things that's sort of uh, holding it up a little bit is I've got uh, the film set up, the, the studio set up to film uh, Ubuntu Beast Demix Town, and I haven't been able to do that yet. So once I finish that, uh, the next uh, thing on schedule to film is Beauty and the Geek. And then once Beauty and the Geek is done, uh, then I'll be able to shoot. I should be able. Actually, no. Once uh, cause I don't. I do. I do. Beauty and the Geek back here. The it's the front room and the kitchen dining. Room. This room doesn't share camera. This room, whatever I film here, the camera's here dedicated. It's the uh, the front room where it's in the library. And that's where I do. do, do going to be doing a bunch of beast in the town. There's the uh, electronics bench. There's the uh, laundry room or the laundry area. Uh, there's the kitchen diner. All these areas have to share a camera, and it depends on if something. If I'm shooting one project, and something gets held up, and so that project is delayed, all the other things that that the uh, that are shared on that camera that needs to be in terms of being shot are also delayed as well. And this includes uh, the BTS vlog. There is some uh, uh, some some uh, uh, hike, uh, some shopping, and philosophy that's stuck on the camera. Right now, oh, <coughs> right now it's in the uh, front room studio, the front room studio, the the the, uh, the library uh, for Ubuntu B S T and so so everything that's on it, the uh, the uh, shopping and philosophy is stuck on the camera until Ubuntu B S T units that all can be shot, and that should be tonight. And that means it will come off the base where it is now, over to the research desk, so I can pull the chip out. Pull the pictures off, and then the editing process for BTS vlogs will get started. And so, same thing will uh, with the editing process for uh, your bunch of BSD and stuff. And because there's two systems now on the network that does ed that that work as the editing bay. Uh, and I know some some starting to spread the edit the editing bay across the network. Uh, two shows can be edited at once, so this will cut down the editing time in terms of the you know in terms of uh, what has to be done, and that's sort of a good, a good, uh, uh, a good thing, if you will. Uh, what else happened? Let's see. Oh yeah, Nerds Aurela seems to be coming back again. For a while there, she got really busy, and uh, things popped up early. Uh, excuse me. And she wasn't vlogging that much. Now she's back to vlogging again. So <laughs> that's a, uh, you know. She's the one I started out, I, you know, I, I always go back to Nerd Zorrell because Nerd Zorrell is, is the, uh, she's the one I, uh, start, the re she's the reason why I started doing the BTS vlogs, you know, it, uh, it's, I didn't know if you could film 
on, on Linux at all. Uh, the reports I've been, been, been reading and seeing on YouTube, including Nixie Pixel, said that you couldn't um, edit and you couldn't vlog on, on Linux, that you couldn't do film production and video production on Linux, that it wasn't ready yet. I said, well, let me try this out. And that's where I saw uh, 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 was it was New Year's Eve. And just around midnight, around New Year's, I saw it, and I said, well, let's try this out. And so, uh, it was at midnight, that was at New Year's Eve, that New Year's Day, where, you know, it was still midnight. That's when I did the first vlog, so. Uh, and it was done on, on Linux, and then I progressed from there, and you can sort of see everything, everything's still there, I haven't deleted anything, so it's all on, uh, on the channel here. And you can see the progress to the channel, so. Anyway, uh, our time is up. And I will get back to you uh, probably later on today. We'll see what happens uh, uh, if I do any more vlogging today. So far, it's only been once a day, but we'll see what happens. Anyways, take it easy. <laughs>
I'm at my low where uh, the fatigue is just really hitting, and it's uh, it it acts like an it it, it it in electronics we call it impedance. This is also technically technically true that it is impedance. Uh, but to give you a more uh, A more descriptive term in terms of something that the average person can relate to. It's imagine running a race. You have two choices. Well, not two great or two conditions. You run the race with good clothes on, you know, like shorts and everything, you know, as light as possible. But the other time you have to run the race in winter boot winter boots. You know, these thick ice pack boots with the heavy soles. Uh, they're about between 5 and 10 pounds each on each foot. Uh, snow pants, winter parka, and a 70 pound backpack. Who do you think is going to win the short race in terms of, <laughs> you know... No, it's obvious. The guy who's going to has a lighter roll because the guy who has the heavier load carry uh, is weighed down and slowed down by that heavier load and this is kind of what uh, sleep deprivation is like when you're in your low you feel like there is a weight upon you a physical weight upon you and it slows everything down and it causes you to you, you can't get <clears throat> even when you're so in, when, even when you're applying the efficiency model, the, the, the emergency mode model, which is you try, uh, the, efficiency, the efficiency mode model, the efficiency mode model is the model that you use of efficiency, so that when you have a situation that slows you down and, and, and stops you from doing all the normal work you get done, the efficiency model kicks in. Uh, particularly in, in, in this emergency mode model, kicks in and allows you to get work done with the least amount of effort in such a way that you would not normally get this work done. In other words, uh, you are getting work done in emergency mode that you would normally wouldn't get done. In other words, you, 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 you've already defined what are the critical tasks that have to be done for the day, and more often than not, you get the critical tasks done plus a little bit more. That's the efficiency model. That's the emergency. That's, that's the efficiency model for. That's the efficiency model for the emergency mode. Uh, so when I'm at, when you're at the low or you're in a crash, you're in the uh, emergency. Mo you're in emergency mode. You're in emergency crash mode, and that um, efficiency model comes in and determines what's going to be done because you have to do simply the critical, and then once the critical is done, then you work from there on out. In terms of you know, uh, the amount of work you get and the types of work, the type of work you get done. And the thing is, is that uh, I'm gonna, I don't, I don't know how long I'm gonna be in this mode. So it's gonna be a matter of tweaking this efficiency model, the efficiency model that I have, uh, to see whether I can, how far I can push it. And it, it does, it's gonna take a bit. So. Anyways, uh, I will talk to you later. Um, I still have. To, I'm still working on Beauty and the Geek. You'll see uh, me uh, on Twitter, particularly. You'll see me adding uh, items to the Beauty and the Geek playlist uh, for. I think it's the it's the YouTube stroll for Beauty and the Geek. So I've added uh, YouTube. I've added the YouTube stroll to Beauty and the Geek as well. So it's now spread throughout other different shows, and I think that's how I'm going to do things from now on. Uh, so look for these changes. Our time is up. It is now time for me to get whatever day, whatever amount of day is going to be done. Get it, get it started. Uh, so I will see you possibly later on, but uh, I don't know exactly when. Alrighty, take it easy. Goodbye.
I am the professor. And professor of what? Professor of physics. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light? Free speech rules here at Democratic Earth.